Hey everyone, so for today I'm going to get back to basics with this video and talk about what exactly is a beer money engine and why I call it and by association this channel that. So I called the channel beer money engine because first we are trying to make money primarily from these apps that we call beer money apps. So what is exactly a beer money app? Well, I define beer money apps as applications that make you money without it being a job. Examples of these types of apps include, but are not limited to, survey and study apps like Amazon MTurk, OnePulse, Prolific, Survey Savvy that offer money to do surveys and studies for academics and marketers or particular tasks of some sort. Amazon MTurk has a lot of particular tasks and as well. Gameplay apps like Misplay and Rewarded Play that offer money for achieving milestones or a particular amount of time in a game. Mostly they involve mobile apps, about 99% of the time they do anyway. Um, the only time that it's not is usually when the mobile app also has a browser version like Raid Shadow Legends, as, just as an example. Receipt apps like Receipt Hog, Coin Out, and Frisbee that offer money for taking pictures of receipts, as well as their auto counterparts like Pogo, Fetch, I believe Ibotta is also an automatic one, and Bridge Money also does this program as well. Play to earn games that earn you real money while playing games like Atlas Earth and Upland, and supposedly Gate of Abyss sometime down the road next year and rewards apps like Bridge Money or Swagbucks that do a little bit of everything. Now, when I say beer money, I mean beer money. These apps should not be a job, not even a part-time job for you. They are for me because I run a YouTube channel where I review these apps and I'm going to keep track of them and I'm going to show off some of the best of apps and probably some of the worst as well. But for you, this should be beer money. You're not expected to be making money comparable to what you would make in a primary job or even a gig like DoorDash or tutoring, nor would anyone accept these wages otherwise. This is simply getting paid for your free time. One of the best paying apps in this category right now, Amazon MTurk, averages me around $9 to $10 an hour, and it gets much lower from there, sometimes as low as less than a dollar an hour. Sometimes even less than that. I mean, I just had this uh, one app, CryptoScoop, where I went about five hours and I got a nickel. So that's like, what, a penny an hour? <laughs> so again, not a replacement for a job. If you work a job and another hustle, do those first. This is only for use of your free time. I cannot stress this enough. And you just want to make an additional couple of bucks to help you get over your bills for a month, buy yourself a little extra something, or buy some extra gas for a trip, etc., etc. Now, even for me, I only play with these types of apps when I go on break. After I work on these videos, or in the case of receipt apps, after I come back from a store or getting gas. They are meant to fill up time you would waste idling around most of the time, and doing nothing and getting you $50 to $100 a month in doing so. Very much for those of us that are fans of time equals money. Now, the second part of the channel itself, the engine part. That is for those of us who, instead of using the money to buy a little extra something, we want to use it to save up and have that money make us money. That's what we call investing. It's called a beer money engine because you are building a set of apps together that will make you money. Then you can take that money if you want, especially if you have saved enough, and make yourself more money through other free means by placing said money into investments like I-bonds, index fund ETFs, high dividend ETFs, savings accounts, etc. I don't talk about this part as often because we're more focused on getting you that money first, but I do plan on talking about it down the road, especially stuff like credit card rewards and savings account bonuses, uh, opening bonuses, I should say. But once you have the money, you can use that to make more money automatically through these safer methods that pay you interest and make you money while you sleep. I'm sure you've heard about compound interest and what it can do if you save just a little bit each month and the same is as such here. Let's just say you only make $50 a month in beer money starting at the age of 25 and you invest $50 a month every month over the next 40 years into something like an investment that is making, oh, let's go with 6% a year. Let's do something a little safe. Now, you'll probably get more on average with something like stocks. 
I think 6% is probably growth for something like 50-50 stocks bonds. Um, there are many times too that even I bonds, depending on when you buy them, will yield out 6% for you. So 6% is a good enough average. By the time you are 65, that beer money engine of yours will end up making $99,574.54. For those of you in your 20s, having an extra $100,000 in retirement doesn't really sound like a terrible idea, does it? Now obviously there is no way I at the age of 37 am going to ever get to this point with this channel, but I also will be trying to make a lot more in my upcoming experiment and it's going to be over a few years period, just to give you an idea of sorts. Not to mention, if you have this much as 65, what you'll probably be wondering is how much beer money you would have after 40 years and given 6%. That next month, you would be making $497.87 for doing absolutely nothing. And here's the math to check that out. No surveys, no videos, no playing games, nothing. And again, these are with relatively safe investments, not crypto, not high-risk stocks or margin accounts, none of that. Just like either a 50-50 stocks bonds portfolio or I think like I-bonds on a good day. Matter of fact, let's do just the S&P 500 index fund. That is 10.7%, which is the average growth the S&P 500 has had since it was introduced in 1957. I'm assuming this also counts reinvesting the dividends, so we're just going to assume that we got an app that will also do that for us. That number is now $391,867.44, and the amount you make next month, if we just kind of put that together here, is $3,494.15. Now, in the year 2064, that might not quite be enough to cover monthly retirement expenses, but that would take care of a very nice chunk of it. And yeah, it's not going to solve the issue with the struggle with financial independence that you hear about on other finance YouTube channels, but $391,000 will definitely help. Certain apps will kind of help you prepare for that. And this is why you see apps like Atlas Earth a lot on this channel. I see Atlas Earth as sort of the perfect example of testing your patience in apps like these and wanting to watch your money grow without giving in to lifestyle creep. Not inflation creep, lifestyle creep, there is a difference. When you start in this game, your first parcel will make you at best about a dime a month if you boost. However, over the next several months, you do the free ads. You travel to get your diamonds and spin the wheel. You reinvest any whole dollars you make, and eventually, Four to five months later, you're making a full 20 plus dollars a month on the app, which puts you at the level of some of the best rewards apps out there. Not bad, eh? Now, for all of these apps, it does not come without a price. What price are we talking about here? Well, what you are giving them in return for that free money, basically. And the answer, the TLDR version, in, or I should say in a nutshell, is data. Data is what you give them, namely whatever information they deem necessary. So as an example, in surveys you are anonymous, but you give them demographics and information on your opinions and certain situations. Sometimes, especially with more higher paid surveys, you're required to give more personal information like audio, video images of yourself, your email, your address, your phone number, so on. You can give a little less information on some of these rewards apps, but your walking tempo and your location are also information that they use to help get you ads. You give a little less information on some of those walking apps or some of the other stuff like Coin or Natix, but your walking tempo and your location are also information that they can use to help get you ads. And basically it comes down to that, research or ads being the main two reasons why uh, they get the information from you. Now, I know for some of you that feels like there might be some privacy issues involved, but you got to remember that if you use almost just about any big app and you don't have privacy settings set up properly, you're giving away your data anyway for free. So why not at least get paid for it is what I believe, especially since most of the data is anonymous. Now, granted, this isn't for everyone. So for those of you that don't want even anonymous-ish information about you, I get it. But yeah, the data that they collect is usually meant to either help with research or market. And yeah, I'd rather get a little something out of it myself than nothing at all. Finally, 
there are two more things you can add to your beer money engine as well that would require some mental math. We've already talked about dividends and interest rates, but also rebates and coupons. It's not really that much different from the magic receipts you see from something like swag bucks or inbox dollars. As an example, I buy the VitaFusion 2000 IU Vitamin D3 gummies every couple of months, and at Walmart I saw a coupon for $1 off at the register. I bought two as well for a swag bucks deal, but I already count that 500 swag bucks I made toward the beer money engine, so how about I add on the $1 coupon as well? Well, I should say the $2, the two $1 coupons. You could add that if you want, I personally don't. And I especially wouldn't add it on if I don't finish it up, basically, my uh, vitamins. Though I do plan on finishing it up. It's meant for my chronic illness, after all. The second thing one can do is sell stuff in sites like Amazon or eBay or other places like such. This definitely falls more into the part-time job category for a lot of people. But if you're just flipping things here and there, random stuff that you see, you could add it to your beer money engine as well. The only red flag I have on this is I only count it as low effort money, which is what beer money should be, low effort, if you fall upon it rather than searching garage sale to thrift store for said object. Again, this is arbitrary, and this is mainly a subjective thing whether or not you'd consider it low effort or closer to a hustle. But all in all, that is the end game point of the beer money engine, to build this small supplemental income from scratch that you got from just using a little bit of your free time that you can use down the road if you ever need it, or even help you get to retirement. Now, obviously this channel is here for those that are just looking for a little bit extra here, and I'm here to help with that as well. But for those of you that want to save money, beer money apps meet the requirement of being low effort, not taking up too much of your time, non-committal, meaning you can do this whenever you want without being bound by bosses or clients, and in many ways fun, especially if you're a number file like myself. Now this is going to be a short condensed version of a video series I plan to do in the future on things like this, and I will talk about those future plans in a year or two, but for right now, this is the video. Let me know what you think, if you like it, hate it, anything you think I should have added, and so on. Comment below as well, and don't forget to subscribe to Beer Money Engine so you don't miss out when my experiment begins January 1st, 2024. Now that is the video, everybody. I will see you all next time.